Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Good afternoon, I'm Karen Drew. We do have breaking news here at 4. A jury has just been seated in the trial of James Crumbly. That's the father of the Oxford High School shooter. Now, he is about to go on trial for involuntary manslaughter a month after his wife was convicted. Let's get right to Sean Lay. He has been in court all day long. Sean, tell us what you can about the jury. Let's get right to it, Karen. This jury was seated within this past hour, so we're talking about nine women and six men. There will be alternates that will be selected at random tomorrow, but nine women and six men. It took a long time, about a day and more than a half of the next day today, almost all of today until up to, what, 3.15 today, to seat this jury. And the makeup of the jury looks like this. We've got a music teacher that is on this jury, a stay-at-home mom, son has special needs, also foster mother as well. We've got a graphic designer. He has no children, uh, a machinist. He's 62, had a lot to say about parenting. There is a retired widow on this jury. There's a nurse, a retired nurse, unemployed. Uh, there's a woman who's expecting her husband is a social worker. She is now on this jury as well. There's a IT specialist for Stellantis and then an auto engineer, just to name a few. Now, again, this is nine women and six men. Karen, this took about a, all day yesterday and up until about 3.15 today. The judge gave this jury uh, a thank you, and then it's marching orders not to speak to anyone, including your spouse once you get home. Nothing about this case whatsoever. She doesn't want anything to upset this trial of James Crumley that would make them have a mistrial and start this process all over again. It was painstaking. It was interesting. And these uh, folks, most of them have children, young children or adult children. Most have uh, very strong views on parenting that you can't know everything your child is doing. Most have firearms for hunting or going to the range and say, if there's any kids around, those firearms must be locked up. That's the makeup of the jury. So big time now. The headline will be 8.30 tomorrow morning. That will be uh, opening statements tomorrow morning at 8.30. And we'll have our camera inside this time. No cameras this time because of keeping privacy, the privacy of the jurors. But our camera will be there tomorrow, and we'll pick up the testimony as soon as it starts. 8.30 sharp, Karen. The nation will be watching this one. All right. Thank you, Sean. That's we right. will be streaming opening statements and testimony starting tomorrow, as Sean mentioned. You can follow that entire trial live. All you need to do is download the Local 4 Plus app. And we will have that streaming where you find that content. We'll also have recaps, also updates here on Local 4 as well.